You took a video. <laughs> I want to be like the waves on the sea, like the clouds in the wind, but I'm me. One day I'll jump out of my skin. I'll shake the sky like a hundred violins. See, it's getting better. My 12 grapes were ready. Green. They have to be firm, room temperature green grapes. Cold grapes are a choking hazard, everyone knows that. Geo had on the mushroom hat I made for him. My crochet masterpiece. Also, last year's unemployment, hobby, and antidepressant. It was only 11.04 p.m. PST. The clock hit midnight already at home, and my dad sent me photos of our hometown's famous acorn drop. God, I miss that giant acorn. So with no acorn ball here, I had to ask, what do West Coast people do? We chose to wait till midnight. Grapes in an arm's distance and maletas waiting by the front door. Why do Hispanics eat 12 grapes at midnight? They're uvas de la suerte, 12 lucky grapes. It originated in Spain in the early 1900s after a large grape harvest. The tradition is eating one grape at each of midnight's 12 clock chimes, guaranteeing a lucky year. We hunched over, preparing for the race. First leg, grapes. One minute, 12 wishes. Second leg, grab your maleta and run. Gio and I wrote this song. Okay. Go, Tati, go. Happy New Year. Yeah, we're gonna travel this year to the 
as if we came first. But we're not the first people here. Fuck a chiropractor. <laughs> Get a boulder. <laughs> Transmitting from the Mojave Wilderness in Joshua Tree, California. Now is the time for Desert Oracle Radio, the voice of the desert. Night has fallen on the Mojave, and I want to tell you what it's like out here. Have you ever heard of the Yucca Man? He also goes by Blue Eyes, but that's what the military folk in the desert call him. It seems like no one has actually asked him what his name is, if he is a him. People have described it as a version of Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Desert Demon, a giant Joshua tree looking creature. And while I did not mean for this to turn into a conspiracy video, we do have to acknowledge the stories that have been told about this urban legend. Okay, so you want to know about the Yucca Man? He doesn't seem like that bad of a guy, to be honest. And he seems slightly more low-key than a normal Sasquatch. You would think it would be harder to do in the desert because it's so open. But um, he tends to only be seen at night, which again makes sense in the desert because of the heat. In the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and then a little bit in the 80s, he was really popular out here in this town, in this area, because of Edwards Air Force Base. They have a lot of land, just nothing but desert, mm -hmm. and they uh, have patrolmen out there. Two patrolmen saw something out in the desert, running around, and they chased it. It was going really fast. They had their patrol cars, they went into the desert until they lost it. Wow. They filed the report, and the government gave him a really, really hard time about it. Wow. So much so that all of the other patrolmen for Edwards Air Force Base, even though they were seeing things out there in the desert, just learned, don't, don't talk about it. You don't talk about it. But then later, after they retired and stuff, they, people would interview them and ask them, and they would be like, yeah, I saw something out there. Wow. He's known to be creeping along the long desert avenues that are uh, abandoned most of the time that people use for street racing. Since he's so big, he'll be in the middle of the street and he'll cause a street racing car crash. And so he does have a couple of bodies on his hands, but I don't think he's been the one to uh, commit the murders. Mm -hmm. uh, There's one really scary story I heard of uh, someone from around here. Their mom had made dinner. It's this little boy. She said, go get your papa from the back shed and tell him that it's time for dinner. And when neither he or the father showed back up again, the mom went out looking in the backyard towards the shed. And she found him huddled up in the backyard by a tree, weeping and crying. And she said, what's wrong, son? And she said, I couldn't get to Papa. There was a giant hairy man that wouldn't let me pass.
not be able to see it, but right over here is a coyote. This is our second coyote sighting in two days yeah. here in Joshua Tree. One day, it's technically still your birthday. Within 24 hours, it's technically still my birthday. Uh, don't forget it. And he's gone. Fuck a map. <laughs> Mushrooms don't need maps. They need nitrogen. <laughs>